This morning, we are remembering legendary CBS News anchor Walter Cronkite. He passed away on Friday at the age of 92. CBS News correspondent Randall Pinkston is on Manhattan's east side with the latest on his funeral arrangements. Good morning, Randall. Good morning, Julie. We are outside St. Bartholomew's Church where funeral services will be held this Thursday for Walter Cronkite. They will be private for his family and invited guests. Cronkite's death occurring on the 40th anniversary of one of the most favorite stories of his career. Now in it was 40 years ago today that Walter Cronkite reported on one of man's greatest journeys. Oh boy. boy. <laughs> Space was Cronkite's passion. When that vehicle landed on the moon, I was speechless. I really couldn't say a thing. Cronkite is remembered as a man who made a difference. He interviewed a young president. Mr. President, the only hot war we've got running at the moment is, of course, the one in Vietnam. I don't think that uh, unless a greater effort is made by the government to win popular support, that, that the war can be won out there. And told the nation it had lost its leader. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. Walter became not only everybody's anchor man, he was everybody's minister, priest, and rabbi. And on the rare occasions when Cronkite voiced an opinion like Vietnam, the nation took notice. But it is increasingly clear to this report that the only rational way out then will be to negotiate. Because in an era before blogs and email, cell phones and cable, he was the news. Walter invited us to believe in him, and he never let us down. And that's the way it is. 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 Many wonderful memories of a legendary journalist. There are plans underway for a public goodbye for Cronkite. It will be held later this summer here in Manhattan.